Hey guys, what's up? Dynamic here. And for some reason, in this game, Black Ops Theater One messed up, and it only recorded five minutes of this game. This was a really good game. I had like a 4KD running around with the stakeout, but only five minutes were recorded. And I didn't really want to talk strategies or anything today, but what I wanted to talk about was... Okay, you've probably seen at least one horror movie. I don't know if you've seen the horror movie where it's like it's the caller or something. And it's where the guy calls and keeps telling him to check on the children. It's like really weird. And so the babysitter keeps answering the phone. And she's like freaking out when he calls her. But why is she freaking out? That's what he wants her to do. He's like the creep. He wants you to freak out. No. If someone calls you at night and says to check on the children and is messing with you, you don't get scared. You mess back. Have you checked the children? I killed them. And then him and his buddies are like, what the fuck? He killed the children. That was our job. And they like you, you screw back with them so it's like right in their face and they have no idea what to, what to do. They're like completely s screwed. Or... You get the fuck out of there. I mean, they call, check on the children. They're freaking messing with you. Uh, my shift just ended. I'm out of here. Your business is with the children. They're upstairs. Goodbye. They're sleeping. Have some fun. Okay, I'm out. Okay, I'm not staying there and getting fucking screwed up the butt for you. I mean, <laughs> it's like, she sits there. She runs up to check the children every five seconds. It's just stupid. It's just stupid in general. And... This gameplay was domination on... I don't even know this map. I don't play Black Ops much. You guys will have to tell me the map name. Actually, a good KD game for running out of the stakeout. I use lightweight sleight of hand and marathon, which is basically what you need. I would usually use flat jacket, but I'm using a stakeout, so... I figured lightweight would be the best here. And my friend Willie Pete said I should tell my story about it from when I was in Atlanta. Atlanta City. It's underwater, of course. No, but, um... What happened was, we were up in the mountains, and so there was a sign, and it tells you how many steps there are up the mountain, and you know, there was, you could either go down the mountain, or up the mountain from the middle, and we were in the middle, and I'm like, hey, let's go down here, 175 steps, they're all like, oh, let's walk up to 415 steps, let's walk up to 415 steps, I'm like, do you not know how many steps 415 steps is, going zigzag up a mountain, like, it seemed sounded like it'd be easy, so it was like, um, okay, fine. We went, we were going up there. It was so hard, going up 415 steps up a mountain, and then after that, after walking up the 415 steps up a mountain, I walked two miles to get to the car by myself because I didn't know where it was. And when I after I walked two miles, I figured out I'm in the wrong spot. This isn't where the car is. So then I walked another mile up the trail up the hill, and then walked up into this playground area and wasn't there so finally i walked a mile back into the cabin if you've ever walked up 415 steps up a mountain zigzag then walked four miles up and back down and in like 95 degrees outside that is hard as hell okay you go walk up all that and then you tell me that it wasn't hard okay i mean that was just really hard and another thing we did was it was kind of contradicting because we walked two miles to Dunkin Donuts. We walked two miles to go to Dunkin Donuts. So we walked somewhere to get donuts to eat. It's kind of contradicting the whole two mile walk thing. I don't know. But give me some more class ideas for what you want me to use in my classes because right now i'm frankly bored with cod i'm gonna do some zombies actually so comment any zombies challenges you have actually because that's what i'm gonna be going for i don't think i use any high kill streaks in this game because usually if i'm doing stakeout i keep my kill streaks pretty low i don't really like them that high and if you want me to just make up more funny stories, tell me. Because I'm sure I can make plenty of stories to tell you guys. But that the Atlanta stuff was real. The horror movie stuff was just tips. If you're ever in a horror, mo horror movie. Horry movie. What's a horry movie? Sounds like a porn star movie. Maybe I'll go check it out later. But if you're ever in a hor horror movie situation, then now you know what to do. Screw. Screw with them back or get the fuck out of there. What is this map? It kills me that I don't know this map name. It's, maybe it's the gas station map or the yellow pole map or the 
map where guys camping in the gas station waiting for free gas. I don't know map. Maybe it's that map. Maybe it's the I don't know map. Maybe that's what it is. I'm going to call this the I don't know map. We are playing on the I don't know map. That is the map this is called. I don't care what it says. This is the I don't know map. Okay, guys? And I think this is the only game that theater mode messed up on. So, thanks, guys. This has been Dynamic. Please like and favorite the video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can have updates on all my new videos. Thanks, guys. It's been Dynamic. Later.